It's now been over 12 hours since the incredible data breach that has ravaged Game Freak's internal data began. The title of GigaLeak is no longer used because this has been upgraded to a Terra Leak. This is a term I haven't heard before and I'm surprised that the GigaLeak from 2020 wasn't upgraded to Terra Leak as well because that one was over a terabyte. Needless to say, as I expected, because it's a developing story, so, so, so much more information has come out overnight. But I want to begin by making an important correction. Um, we got a little caught up, and it's an occupational hazard when you're reporting on something which has just begun and will develop throughout the night and in the coming days. Um, these files that I mentioned in the previous video are no longer believed to reference uh, a Pokemon MMO. It's now believed that they refer to a Splatoon-type multiplayer Pokemon game, which is still pretty cool and unannounced, but it's no longer believed to be an MMO of any kind. That's part of the reason why I decided to wait over 12 hours before making a part two. I just wanted to make sure things can be verified. And let me tell you, it's the equivalent of some new piece of information coming out every 10 minutes. This is unheard of. There is so much to get through, and all of the details I'm about to cover come from Centro Leaks and a few other reputable leaking sources. Firstly, we have some screenshots from a cancelled Game Freak DS game about fighting and using bugs that you could fuse, which is quite interesting. We have the beta designs for the Team Galactic admins, including this Saturn, which looks absolutely awesome. I can't believe we were robbed of this. This is pretty big, it came out around the turn of midnight. This is the map editor for Generation 3, which is incredible. People could do anything with this. I know that was always the case with Fire Red and Leaf Green, like when I made a ROM hack in 2018, I used that then. This is professional, this is the software that they used. Not some fan-made program, this is the most fundamental way to edit Generation 3. And as I predicted in the last video, before any of them had even materialized, there are so many beta designs for Pokemon that I can't even show them all. I suppose I should explain the way this Terra leak is working. Essentially, leakers are rummaging through files from Generation 3 all the way up to the present day in chronological order. A good example of that is how we just went over the map editor for Generation 3, and these are now beta designs for Pokemon in Generation 4. There's so many here, there are also some beta designs for the trainers in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, some cool Darkrai designs, Gallade, Amber Palm. These are incredibly interesting. The beta design for Shaman and this thing, I it's just <laughs> Moving on to generation five, we have a never before seen extended intro cutscene to black and white. How does something like this even surface? We have Pokemon that were discarded altogether, Beta, Zekrom, Reshiram, and Kirim. Cancelled Pokemon, going back to Heart Gold and Soul Silver sprites, Beta Lipard. This is a sprite that looks like Maxi, but it's been pinpointed to the Pokemon World Tournament in Black 2 and White 2. These are going around, and I'm seeing them on plenty of thumbnails on YouTube, but this is concept art we've seen before. I saw this years ago, so I don't think that this is new for this Terra Leak. We've seen this before, but it is still incredibly interesting and higher quality now, so I'll give it that. Beta Deoxys, always cool. This Cacturn concept art which doesn't even look like it fits into Pokemon at all. I love it. Now, this is interesting, and we will return to this, but this is a lore document created by Jinichi Masuda himself. I believe this was created in 2005 and used to keep track of Pokemon lore, and it's something that we've never seen before, because when it comes to official sources, we don't know a massive amount about the Pokemon timeline. Sinnoh originally had another water-based route, something to do with the post game maybe there was a way that you could travel to the post game island yourself more discarded pokemon an original ui for generation 3 now this is interesting original latios and latias now we knew that these people used to have arms and look like blaziken but we only saw concept art of them we didn't know that they reached the stage where actual sprites were made scrafty was originally planned for generation 3 now this is interesting because it proves the pokemon goes back to discarded designs this is one of the most popular posts to come out of the Terra Leak because, I mean, think of it. Scrafty was meant to be in Generation 3. We could have seen them on the GBA. They wouldn't show up until almost half a decade later. More discarded Pokemon designs. And I'm really starting to think, why did they do this beta art in such a different style? There's no way the artwork which looks like this will translate into a sprite on a GBA, but they still look really cool nonetheless. Moving up to Generation 5, this is the concept art for Unova. Looks pretty much like the final game, but it's cool to see. People are theorizing that Pokemon Generation 10, which if you can remember, is operating under the code name Gaia, 
will take place in Greece or somewhere with a lot of water. Some more original designs, including this strange starfish deoxys looking thing. And this absolutely fantastic unused design. Why didn't they use this? I love this guy. Going back to generation 4, using a translation tool which directly from internal documents may not be reliable, we see this here that says Cyrus was a closed-minded and introverted individual. We see a lot more information about characters like Iris, just basically what the internal team was using to understand the character to better develop them, which is always good to see. I'm glad that they were doing that. This is pretty big. It's the official origin of the Pokemon universe and no one knows what to make of it. This could either be from Masuda or someone on the team. It could have been from Black and White or uh, Gen 3 or Gen 4. We have no idea, but this is just the origin of the Pokemon universe. It's all about gods and stuff, so I'd assume Generation 4, because Arceus and everything, but I mean, it's not like we're going to get an official comment, so theorize away. Arceus had multiple beta designs, and I think the other one actually leaked in 2020, but here's another one. Now, there were a lot of profiles that would have been given to the team to help develop characters that they were working on, uh, such as source materials and details that they really wanted to perfect when they were building these characters. The profile for Skylar, the gym leader in Pokemon Black and White, is getting a lot of attention, and you can probably see why. Now, it's well known that the Pokemon company was worried about Generation 3 before it came out. Ruby and Sapphire, they didn't think it was going to work. They planned to end the series after Pokemon Gold and Silver, and they were a little concerned about Generation 3 leading up to its release. And this document is about concerns that Game Freak had. And it's quite an interesting read, so you can either pause it now and read it, or, or find it elsewhere. Um, but this is worth a read. There's also a lot of unused music. I can't play this here because I don't want to risk anything. But there are at least three unused tracks, one from Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and two from Black and White. There are so many more lore documents, and going back to that chart that I showed before, this is it sort of filled in, going off the lore that we've gained, so take from that what you will. I think it's very cool, but it's ultimately pretty useless. We have, this This shows the depths of this terror leak, we have the planning meeting for Diamond and Pearl. Planning meeting, when they were just spitballing ideas on how they could make it work on the DS, what they would do moving forward. This is day one. This is Diamond and Pearl day one. There's an idea which is shot down pretty early on uh, about using the stylus to throw Pokeballs just because it was on the DS. But they thought it would get too repetitive uh, and they were absolutely right. <laughs> Here's an early Pokemon Pearl title screen and yeah, Palkia is shown to be a dragon. Uh, we uh, don't know what that means. <laughs> Concept art for Cyrus and a couple of others. New information confirming a live action Pokemon show for Netflix. Beta Meloetta. Over 1,900 concept art sheets for Pokemon between Gen 1 and 4. There you go. And that's where we currently stand. Uh, Pokemon X and Y, Sun and Moon, and anything up to, and perhaps including, Pokemon Legends ZA is yet to come. Uh, I will be watching this page like a hawk because Pokemon X and Y is my either second favourite or favourite generation, as I've gone on record saying. But Jesus Christ, is 200 gigabytes. 200 gigabytes is still to come. You know, this could go on for days, potentially.